Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to Kenny's Daily. Yeah, now this is my Mondeo ST TDCI with a few um, problems that are seem to be quite a theme. Very common, I'm sure you guys are aware of them. Basically in the mornings, Kenny's having a bit of smoke on startup. So he's bought a leak off test. Obviously we'll show you what a leak off test actually is. Yeah. It's a lot simpler than people think. Now when it I is, first yeah. thought, I was like, oh, this is a big complex machine. But essentially what you're doing is measuring the amount of diesel that comes out of each injector at any given time. Yeah, now this is a universal kit. Yeah. Uh, comes with uh, six parts, obviously we only need four of them. You're missing two cylinders, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, you basically got to use these as the blocks and we got to see which size of these you need for Yeah. The injector, and so, then you, yeah, basically the good thing is with a proper test, you can't, you can, you can basically do this. People do them without even a test. You can just get a cup, uh, a bit of tubing, but this is the proper way to do it because what you can do is literally measure specifically how much fluid comes out. Because Kenny, we'll run through all the tolerances and stuff when we get outside. But yes, yeah. yeah, let's do it. So this wasn't intended to be an instructional video, but take it as instructional if you want because yeah, we're, we're going to do mechanics, the, but yeah. we are we we have looked into this. And yeah, this we know what we're doing with these. It's relatively straightforward. So first step. Open the bonnet. Yes, and take the cover off. So basically what we're going to do is a leak off test. We're going to run off uh, Delphi's instructions. So the procedures we're following are recommended by Delphi. We'll put them in, a, in the description as well, but we will run through them. Five minute test, 25 mil per minute allowance. So let's just set it up. Sounds very confusing, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk it as we go along. It's but really yeah, we, we know the tolerances and stuff like that, luckily. So yeah, first thing you do is the leak off. First thing is engine covered off, obviously. Yep, yep. Bonnet open, all the <laughs> basics, but yes. So you've yeah. basically got your fuel rail, which yeah. leads to your four injectors there. You've got then what they call leak-off pipes. Yes. So it is normal for diesels to have leak-off uh, coming from them, but there is a tolerance because, yes. uh, you know, seals and a racetrack around you. <laughs> seals wear it over time and they do to cause the injectors to leak off more than they should. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. I'll pop these out. I hope they all pop out nicely because they are plastic at the end of the day and old plastic. And at the beginning of the day, they're plastic. And they're plastic, plastic. So there's this little tabs there on the back of them. So all you try and do is just undo the tab and then so just the kit. pop them out. So the kit comes with little basically plugs there. So as you pull the leak off pipes off, they are to stop air getting into the system, I believe. Yeah, it is so while it's running. Plugs basically. them off. Yeah. Yeah, it comes with six of them. I know you only need four on these engines, but obviously the the you kit is for six of them. Should have a better engine, engine. Yeah, yeah. So there's a guy with a two liter version of this crap. <laughs> basically, these are exactly the same clip. So we are going to put them on exactly the same way. So that goes around there. genius. Yeah, that so as clips. you can see there, uh, the whole there, that's basically what we're plugging these, Ow. these yeah, get bits into. They go in there. Under the other three. <laughs> There's only three more to go. Uh, yeah. Well, by filming this, I just can't help but, uh, you know, just... Oh, nice. On the crap. It's the first time... Hey! Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. It's the first time it's moved in about yeah. six months. One thing that's definitely worth knowing, Delphi do recommend you do it with a, a hot engine. I think I'm sure it's something like the fuel needs to be at least minimum 50 degrees or something something, something like that. Yeah. So they do recommend it just get your engine warm before you do this. Good shot, that's it. Right. right, so they are on. So, as you can see there, leak off pipes going down to these cylinders and test tube, very scientific looking things. It is, yeah. Yeah, you know, I've got to do anything like this. Um, so, yeah. I failed science, so at least hopefully we can do this today. Let's just a minute with science. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think I went. This is the most science we've ever done. <laughs> um, so the first part of the procedure uh, is idling for two minutes. Yes. yes. So you literally start, you'll see the diesel come down the leak off. Yep, we'll get the stopwatch going. And then it's literally um, alternating between 30 seconds at 3800 RPM and then 30 seconds at idle. They call it the five minute test because it takes five minutes for the roll now. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's convenient. So yeah, there's the, ignore Kenny's handwriting if you can. Uh, uh, I didn't write it, I think a child wrote it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you do want to try and be as accurate as you can because then obviously your readings will be as accurate as you can. But two minutes, I won't film the whole thing, but yeah, we'll see you in two minutes. Only in the valleys. <laughs> I know it is. Working on your car, hey, man. Hello. How you doing? Hey, there's updates for tonight. Say what? Oh. <laughs> We should look at that then. Yeah, I don't think I've ever revved this car that high. 38 RPM. Uh, no, you've got to hold it for 30 seconds. That's going to feel unnatural. And so two minutes. Jesus. 
That just sounds painful in a diesel, doesn't it? Right, so like we said, 30 seconds of this now. This is the first lap. So it's your first load of revving and then we're obviously 30 seconds idling for 30 idle. seconds. How are them bottles looking? They got fuel in them. That's how we're looking at the moment. Number four seems to be a bit higher. Hmm. Someone's scared. <laughs> <laughs> Just horrible revving the <laughs> out of it. 30 seconds of idle and I'll see. And we're done. Yeah. Well, this. <laughs> you show off. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, actually. Um, this is where it gets scientific. Yeah, now it's 25 mil per minute. So that's five minutes, that's 125 mil. Well, as in like that's, that's within that's, tolerance. Yeah, that's within right. tolerance. So these are within 125 mil. So, all right, there's more on that one. Yeah. And there seems a little bit more on that one, but I don't think they're that bad. I'm Still assuming, under. are they, is that millimetres? Yes. Yeah. Millilitres, millimetres. Millilitres, yeah, you got 100 mil, obviously, there's your 25. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, so five minutes. Five, and then you got your other 25. So, yeah, they do look within tolerance, obviously. Yeah. That's a good sign. I'm happy with that. Uh, I will take some photos and send it to a friend of mine, just to confirm. Yes. Like I said, we're not mechanics, but yep. this is what we've uh, read up. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. But I, I suppose it's good, you know, your injectors are not, but then what's causing the smoke? <laughs> Could be the EGR. We haven't had True. that apart. And I took mine apart and yeah, yours I'll well. show you what mine looked like. So yeah, that's it's, de it's worth doing either way, preventative yeah, maintenance. Yeah, like, like I said, I will double check with a friend of mine. And if you guys know, yes. please let us know as well. Now we posted a picture of the results of the leak off test on the Mondeo Owners Club on Facebook. And the awesome people on there told us these results look absolutely fine. What we got? We're gonna go through these a minute. So on, in, we're gonna call the injector four on the right hand side. Yes. We have, so let's say, you can eight, four, three, two, ninety. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go four, three, two, one. <laughs> we got seventy on number three. Seventy-five, just over. Yep. And we're gonna go, just call it ninety. Yeah. So that's over it's the not five a million test. miles off each other. Like you said, four not. okay is a bit. It probably it's looks more dramatic because that's the least. But yeah, the, the fuel looks clean though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least the fuel fit looks good. Yeah. So, yeah, well, at least, like I said, let us know what you guys think. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we'll see what else we can strip off um, and see what else we can do. To make it a bit more interesting, well, I, was, I wanted to do mine either way, so as long as Kenny will lend it to me. Uh, we're going to do the Jag as well. 20 quid. Mine's... <laughs> the family <laughs> rates, that is. Yeah, that is, yeah. Um, Mates are 30. Mine doesn't seem to have the problem, but we're, I, I want to do the test anyway, because it is, it's just good peace of mind. Yeah, it is. Well, I think it'd be good to do yours now and uh, see what the difference is between yours and mine. Yes, definitely. Because so. mine's a 2-litre, this is a 2.2 anyway. So your sex. But <laughs> it's all of our size, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that all. Yeah, do that's it for now. Anything no, else no, to say on this now? So uh, I'll be putting my fuel back in. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> that's probably about fifty quid's worth. Yeah, it. at least I'll eBay it. So yeah, I was expecting it to be honest. I was expecting it to be. Oh, that one's wrong. Yeah, right. We're gonna have to order two injectors, but this is a bit bit anticlimactic. Yeah, it is. So this is we're kind of where we need your guys' help. If you've got any more recommendations, you've got a DPF. Mine hasn't. It could be. Yeah, that's it. This, like I said, a little bit of smoke on startup. Um, I have had a, a seventy mile an hour after a big long run. I turned it off for twenty minutes. We started it back up, and when I went on the motorway, I had a bit of a dreader. So yeah, if you guys know what I that could know, be, I, injector, but I know it's obviously not. So yeah, help us out, guys. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Woo!